What the Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Bruna. This is your source of behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. You are in the right place if you are not hip, want to be hip to the times, are hip and want a good cringe, still use the word hip in any way, shape, or form. This week's episode, we will cover three things. Number one is the SpongeBob meme that has gone viral in the last couple of weeks. Number two is a little segment that we will call what the kids be playing. See what I did there? <laughs> and number three, our word for the day is snapped. The first thing that we're gonna cover today is the SpongeBob meme. If you've ever seen this, it's going viral right now. I don't really know if the kids made it up or if they just are using it a lot but they definitely are using it a lot and you basically use the spongebob meme when you want to exit an awkward situation or a situation that you like really do not have the time for or the energy for and you just be like all right y'all i'm gonna head out so for instance a teacher says all right class let's do some group work and you're antisocial. I chama head out. You're in class and your professor says, attendance does not matter for this course. I chama head out. And my personal favorite, I say the directions 3,000 times and a kid says, excuse me, what are we doing? And I'm like, mm, I chama head out. Next up is a segment I like to call what the kids be playing. So this week, Mario Kart Tour came out and all the kids were talking about it. They were obsessed. They're like, Ms. Bernard, you should download the game. And I was like, guys, I actually like don't have any games on my phone. And you know what they said to me? Miss, you don't like to have fun? <laughs> this weekend, I finally downloaded it and I sent the kids a screenshot of my profile so that I could mess with them because I love bothering them. And I was like, guys, what do I do? And you know what they said? Drive. On September 6th, on midnight, NBA 2K20 came out. On Friday, when I walked into work, I was missing like one or two students. And then a bunch of other my students were like, dumb tired. And I was like, guys, what's going on? They were like, Miss Bernard, 2K came out last night. <laughs> and they were like, they waited until midnight. They played it all night. And some of them came to school with no sleep. Dear 2K, if you could please drop like 3 p.m. on a Friday next year, that'd be great for me. That finally brings us to our word of the day. Our word of the day this week is snapped. So I first heard this word a couple years ago. I stole one of my kids' backpacks just for play and I was wearing it around the classroom and they were like, yo miss, you snapped with the bag. And I was like, I think that's a good thing. This year, the term has resurrected like Jesus on the third day, and I am hearing it all over the place. So the other day, one of my students missed a tutoring session, and Mr. Baby, whose nickname is Two Times, was explaining to him that he called him. He's like, yeah, I called you to remind you about tutoring. I even called you two times. You know that's why they call me that, right? We all busted out laughing, and then he goes, y'all can't lie, I snapped. Snap basically means you did really good on something. And of course, you know I love an Urban Dictionary definition. So this Urban Dictionary definition says that snapped means you did so good that your weaves are snatched. <laughs> That's incredible. All right, y'all, that does it for this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying. As usual, this episode has been brought to you by Esther Brunat. I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah.